I now know from internal emails that were released, I think, in 2019, uh, that there was an email to Keith Brown on the 20th of August 2015, uh, copying, in, copying in Alexander Anderson, the senior special advisor to the First Minister, under the heading presentational issues. And it says, paragraph 16, it would be appropriate for Mr Mackay as Minister for Transport and Islands to lead on this announcement. Um, but we know that 11 days later, actually, the First Minister uh, was accompanying Mr Mackay and presumably uh, uh, giving lead on this announcement. I mean, what did you know about what was going on behind the scenes at the Scottish Government at that point? Not terribly much. Um, we received an email on the 21st of August from our then Chief Executive, Tom Doherty, to say that Richard Hatfields of Transcript Scotland had gone to Keith Brown to seek approval. We weren't aware of that until, until we, that, we were told that um, ex post facto. Um, at that point, uh, the email then said, and the PR machine is, is kind of getting into gear and the public announcement is going to be on the 31st of August and the First Minister will be doing that. So from memory, we knew on the 21st of August that um, the First Minister would be making that announcement. And again, um, Tom Doherty explained the risks to Richard Hadfield and Transport Scotland about doing that so publicly when we were still in negotiations with our preferred bidder on a number of technical aspects as well as a number of issues on the contract. But we were told it was going ahead. So if, if there's an internal email that uh, recommends um, uh, Mr Mackay uh, make, leading the announcement, uh, uh, which is issued on the 20th of August, you're saying that by the next day there'd been an intervention, which meant that the First Minister was leading on the announcement? What the email said from Tom Doherty was that our PR consultants had been contacted by the First Minister's press officer. That I took it to mean that it was going to be the First Minister making the announcement. I don't think that email expressly said that she was, but certainly the press officer had been in contact with our PR agents. So that was clear inference. And were you invited to that event as non-executive members of the board? Formally, I don't. Think I don't think we were well, I actually. I think there were limited spaces, and I don't think we were maybe the most important people on the Maybe it's been implied that we should show up. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to establish whether there was a boycott or not. <laughs> no. Um, I think there were issues around uh, the number of, of places available, but I, I, we were concerned that it was going to be seen as a, a fait accompli with with the public when we still had significant miles to to go yep. on the contract. As Kevin said before, there was nearly two months of, of negotiations ahead of us, so 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 we 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 did not consider at that stage uh, the the contract negotiations being completed at all. But but was your non-attendance because of a lack of spaces, or was it because you had some misgivings about it, or you felt that it would compromise the negotiations that you were involved in? I can't speak for the other directors. I was uncomfortable. So Mr. Had I, I, to be honest, I actually don't know whether I was out travelling or, or why I couldn't attend, but I couldn't. Okay. But I share Morick's concerns that it could be interpreted in the wrong way. So had you been available to attend, would you have attended? I don't know. I don't think so. I think actually we discussed it at a certain stage. Yes, I one, think there yeah. is an email. Yeah exchange where we decided that we would not but I don't think I've, I don't think we were invited and declined I think uh, Tom asked whether we wanted to come or not in which case he would have to find a space on the platform and I think we said no okay. so it's when is an invitation not an invitation <laughs> right uh, Mr Beattie wants to ask some questions Colin Thank you. 